The peace be with you. I greet uh, the friends of the Holy Land and all the friends that through this association are connected with the Holy Land and uh, especially in this period are praying for us, united with us, uh, the spirit of land, but also in the spirit of, of violence, hatred, and fear, and mistrust also. Uh, it seems that we are living one of the most terrible periods of the last decades. And uh, it, is, uh, it seems to us that there is no way out. Uh, and this is temptation, one of the temptations of the devil in this period, uh, not to think that it's possible to get out from this terrible situation, that the only words we can use are words of hatred, uh, mistrust and fear. This was the devil wants from us now. It is not true. Even in this terrible situation, it's possible to talk about perspective of hope, reconciliation. It is true. Uh, um, reconciliation needs time. But if you don't start to build a perspective of reconciliation, we'll never arrive there. So it's very important to start, even this period, um, to keep alive in our heart the desire for reconciliation and forgiveness. Without reconciliation and forgiveness, we will never get out from here. We will uh, remain in a circle of violence and revenge, as we are seeing in, uh, in these days, terrible days we are living. In this period of Lent, at the beginning of the period of Lent, we Catholics, we um, uh, read the Gospel of the Temptation of Jesus. Uh, the temptations uh, are always the same, all over, from since the Garden of, uh, the Garden of Eden till nowadays. The temptation of uh, power and to, uh, and to have the power without God. Uh, to have uh, the power of, no, of our life without God. These are the temptation, uh, always. And we are seeing this very well, even here, uh, in the Holy Land, uh, in these terrible days. Uh, the temptation of power to decide uh, the future of this, uh, this land, of these peoples, uh, based on, on our vision only, human vision, without God, without thinking, uh, according to the uh, to the will of God, we are all human beings. We are all created at image of God, and uh, and this should be a starting point of our reflection, also political reflection, not only uh, religious. If the other is created image of God, the other should be respected. I mean, I I can disagree with him. I can also be at opposition, but remains human being. And, uh, and so in our language, in our attitude, to remain always um, respectful of the others. And this is what we need to, to understand in this, in this moment where the polarization and division are so deep and where the, the dehumanization of the other is something that we experience almost every day in the language we see. So in the spirit of land, we need to, uh, first of all, to, um, to be aware that we need to remain human beings, first of all. Human beings created an image of God, son and daughter of God. Um, and the spirit of land, in the temptation, Jesus was in the desert. Desert is, uh, the desert of, uh, of uh, Judea is wonderful, especially in this period, uh, is uh, full of, uh, uh, of colors because after the, the rain, f after the water, there are a lot of colors. It's a wonderful place. Uh, but uh, the desert is also a place where we are far from any uh, conditioning uh, situation and free from all the noise uh, of, uh, of the world of today. This is what we need also today. We, uh, we are not living very well in this desert here in Northern Land. We have a lot of noise, noise of weapon, noise of uh, language of hatred, and the refusal of the other. While we need to, to keep away all this noise in order, and 
so because this is the only way we can hear the the voice of God calling us to uh, to look to the other as brothers and sisters. So my prayer for you, my reflection is that uh, uh, wherever you are, wherever we are, uh, to go to the desert to see the be beautiful colors of the desert of Judea of today, but also to be able to be far from all the noise of uh, hatred, uh, violence, weapon, and uh, mistrust, and, and to give space in our heart to listen to the Word of God, uh, because this Word is the only Word capable to change our heart and the heart of the humanity. Uh, blessed land to all of you.